Hello, today I am going to show you how to make a prayer binder. These are my two prayer binders right here. This is my main prayer binder and this is my overflow prayer binder. I am going to change things around today because two of the big discs that I have in this planner are broken and I have some really cool black and silver discs that look like this and I am going to be building this planner onto these discs, which means that I'm gonna have to put more in my overflow planner. But I wanted to go through each section, but let's disassemble the planner first. So here is the complete disassembled planner and what I'm going to do is go through my setup. I have these black rings. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So I am going to go ahead and put the cover together and then go through each section. These are thick covers and I got these pretty sure at Joann's, but you can order them on Amazon or any of the craft stores. And basically they have like these little things and you just put the ring in there. on. Okay, once you have this, you have a binder that is ready to go. So let's go through these. So the way that I set up my prayer binder is pretty much in the order that I pray. And of course, I like to be creative. And so I made this adventure um, item, which actually needs to go in my main planner. So I'm gonna move that there. But anything that I find that I use to pray, it can be post-it notes, it can be different things that I type out, that I read about. It can be pictures, it can be different quotes, and I'll show you those throughout. But I set up my first section to be praise. And so one of the ways that I set up each and every section is, all this is is a happy planner divider from an old planner that was from a previous year. So you absolutely, if this matters to you, can get planner, can get dividers on Amazon. And I think that you can buy 15 dividers that are plastic for maybe $20. So you can get these in better quality, but I had these and they were free. And all I did was I went to Walmart and I got these cute little tabs. But again, if you wanna make this aesthetic, you can do that by ordering a few supplies off of Amazon. So as I sit down to pray throughout the years, I have built lists of each section's subjects. So there may be something that I'm praising God for that's happening in my life right now, but also these are all the things that have come to me that I've read about God and different things that you can praise him for. And so I go down this list and just look up verses for each item and then go and praise God. Now, I read a book several years ago called Let Prayer Change Your Life by Becky Tirabasi. And one of the things that she does is she writes her prayers and so I actually write out all my prayers and so the first thing that I do whenever I start to pray 
is I go to my prayer section and I, and you can see here where I'm praying for, I'm praising God for being a stand, steadfast God, or I'm praying, praising God for being my refuge. So once I pray for that, then I move on to the next section. And so all you do in this particular book is these guys have the little holes. So in order to set up a prayer binder that's in, in a disc bound system, you're gonna need two covers and you don't necessarily need these heavy covers. You can get, you can use just plain plastic covers that you get on a Happy Planner. And if you've never used a Happy Planner, you can buy a Happy Planner journal where it doesn't actually have the the calendar dates. It just has journal paper and that would be a great start. Uh, but because I have so many sections, the discs that come with the regular Happy Planner are pretty small. They look like this. And so I need an extended disc in order to add all my sections in here. So you can buy these very large ones, but they're plastic. These particular ones are metal. So it makes the, the bind of your book a little bit stronger. So I am going to show you a few of the sections and then we will build the planner back. Now, as I add sections to, as I add prayers to each of these sections, I add more paper and that's another reason why I really love this is because you can add the paper and again if you want this all to be aesthetic you can buy specific paper and have it all the same but honestly like I buy whatever's on sale and I use all different types of paper I use the backs of pieces of paper like nobody sees this except for I guess you guys now so I, I really don't have a particular desire to get everything matching, but if you do, then great. The next thing that I do is I confess, and here are the things that I am typically found confessing over, but I just wrote out so many different things that are hindrances to people in general, and then I wrote a, um, a verse here just to remind me. So, that is, I know that, that confession brings freedom and that's why I have this picture here, just to remind myself that when I go to God and I release things that are hindering me in the world, I gain freedom. So let's assemble the planner together and then I will show you my overflow planner. Okay, now that I have my binder assembled, you can see that it's very full here. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to go through each of the sections of the prayer binder, and then I will offload some of these pages into a extra little binder. So, I talked about this already and how I created this is this was actually a January calendar that I used in my happy planner but I literally took a piece of paper that I purchased and I put it I put it on there and then I just used some like running I, I used some either you can either use glue or you can use uh, a, a tape runner that I use for my crafts and I just put it down there and then it gave me a whole sheet of paper to put ideas for what I could 
right in this section. So very easy. So first I praise God, then I confess and I write my prayers down. Then requests. So if you get people that are asking you, hey, can you pray for me? Can you pray for anyone? Then I keep a list of all of those people in here. Here are just some different things that I've learned from different books that I've read on prayer, on how to pray with people, how to pray for people, and different ideas. But these are just a list of different things that I have prayed for over the years. And um, when praise happens or, you know, that thing that I've been praying for is over, then I can mark that out. The next section is I pray for myself and I have a lot of different things that I've gotten here. I also love to listen to songs that gives me ideas on the different types of pray of things that I pray for myself for and I have lots of different sections that these are just little reminders. Um, this right here are these right here are affirmations from um, a few different books that I've read and, you know, just different things that I've asked for. Then I pray for my marriage. And again, a lot of different things that you can pray for when it comes to marriage. I love having a picture of the person or people that I'm praying for because it gives me the option to just really look at that person and pray for them, um, you know, while I'm writing. So I have a lot of different pictures, of course, of my husband and I, and I put them on each page um, so that I can look at that. And then I put a couple of extra pages at the end of each section. This is for my husband, and I have looked up so many different things to pray for your husband, a lot of different verses on supporting your husband, and I got a lot of these off Pinterest, tons of great resources. Also, we've done several personality tests and just praying for things that he is really naturally good at and asking God to increase that. Then I move on to my daughter. This is something that I put together um, for her at the beginning. And then I also found on Pinterest the different things to pray for college girls and um, college students in general. So, you know, that's that. And then I pray for my family members. So if you want to do this methodically, you can set a timer and you can spend, let's say, five minutes praising, five minutes confessing, and then you can set a timer, an interval timer that you can just download for free on your phone and you can spend two minutes in each of these sections. I don't do that. I always pray. I always praise. I always confess. I always pray for myself and things that I am seeking God and wisdom for. And then I go through and pray for the requests. And then I spend sometimes an entire week praying for, I always pray for my husband and my daughter. And then I pray, sometimes pray an entire week for one person or one entity in this back section where I have every single one of my family members and then I have my church and then my work. And then finally, I have the government. So the authority, the world, which is our environment, the different states, our school systems, the market, the industry, the economy, um, just praying for revival, for salvation, that God is the head, that Satan's supply is cut off, that we will have unification in the world, we'll have restoration, we'll have healing. And so different times when I'm praying, God will lead me to this section um, to pray for a specific state or a specific thing going on in the government. These last two sections, one is listening. And I got this as an idea from another person that I saw who built a prayer binder. 
I'm going to remove that because anything that I hear from God on typically is in one of these sections. And then I do have a little area here where, you know, if somebody says, hey, I prayed for you and this is what God showed me, I will write that down. And then I also write down just lists of different miracles that God has done, which you will also find those in this section, but it is something that I call out very specifically here. So let's transfer the the thickness of this into my overflow binder and I've been happy planning for years so I have so many of those little binders. Here's an example of a, uh, a binder. Here's an example number one of a cover that you could use instead of that thick cover you could use this cover right here. And this is an example of a divider that is more thick instead of paper that you can get off of Amazon. This is a smaller one and I just stuck it in here. But they have them, which is this classic happy planner size if you want a little bit more, but you can obviously make your prayer binder any size you want. So I just redid the, the sections, as you can see. This is just an old calendar that I used. I don't even remember what year this is. And I just take the items from the uh, from the praise section, and there's plenty of written prayers in here. And then I just continue to add from my praise section here. So I've cut this down to pretty small. And then I'll go to my confess section. Again, long lists of things. And I'm going to go in and replace that. And I'll go ahead and uh, quickly take this, this binder, this main binder, down to uh, a reasonable size so that I can continue to pray in this. And then I will add a few extra pages in here and remove the sections that we talked about. And then I will have a completed new prayer binder. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will be happy to answer them. And then I will also link the Amazon items below and comments so you can look at those. And if you liked this video and you want more like this, please like and subscribe. Have an amazing day.